Talk about the number of years yeah. of compulsory education. Should that be adjusted as well? Oh, that's my fa- <laughs> that's actually my favorite topic now. China actually adopted nine-year mandatory education in 1986. I think now is the time for China to do a 12-year mandatory education because right now approximately 20% of junior high graduates in China did not get to go to a proper senior high school. And that actually also prevented them from going on to college, right? So I think it's high time (laughs) to launch a campaign to convert to 12-year mandatory education. Once these young people achieve what you hope for them, which is a long and fruitful education, then going on to university and graduating, the reality today is that more than 21% of them cannot find a job. Yes. How are you going to fix that? Does that particularly worry you right now? And will this be the challenge for the Chinese economy going ahead? Well, I think it is, uh, it is the challenge. But <coughs> I would say this, um, the, uh, all of this started in 2020. So I think we have to look at the context that this is largely the result of the uh, COVID. So it will take time to digest this stock of unemployed graduates over basically three years. Okay, but I I do think that uh, to go back to when we talk about 12 year mandatory education, I think there is some hope because if in fact China decides to go 12 years mandatory education, we need to increase the number of teachers at the senior high school by 20%. You know, that's exactly the number of people today who do not get to go to senior high. And then you need administrators. And so that would provide a lot of employment, right, for the college graduates. Now, so that's the first thing. The second thing is how to prevent the stock of unemployed young people from growing. Keeping them in school is a great way to do it because they learn something, you know, they learn some skills and, uh, and they will be much more employable afterwards. But in the meantime, they will not have to join the army of the unemployed. And the third thing I've been thinking of is that if you, you need these high schools, senior high schools, you need to build new schools. For a lot of students, they would have bored. So you need to build dormitories and so forth. So that will actually create a great deal of demand for building materials, of construction and so forth. And this will take care of the uh, recession in the housing sector. 